In the following tutorial, I want to introduce you to Episode um, Encoder, which is by Telestream. This is an incredible all-in-one desktop video encoder that does all sorts of stuff, and uh, there's a lot of great features about it. One of the things that you want to look at is the overview that's online. You can find it on their website. Um, this overview will, will teach you a lot about what the software does, which is um, really unique and quite amazing. And also make sure that you watch the tutorial on how to use this. It's about 5 minutes and 50 seconds long. Um, you can find it on their website as well or when you start the encoder. So let's start the software and see what it looks like. When we bring up this software, episode 5.2, it is really a great encoder because it has a lot of high quality settings. Um, you do want to click on run the tutorial in order to go to the website and see the tutorial. Um, and I can go ahead and clear this stuff because I really don't need that up there anymore because this is what happens when you first come to it. Um, first off, what you want to do is be aware that it actually wants you to, instead of linking to individual files, it wants you to link to folders that have files. So I'm going to click on New Source and go to the folder where I have files and I put them on the thaw space to 40 and I have sample footage moving. So that's where um, my source files are going to be and I can bring those out if I click on the little arrow you'll see that I can see those in particular files there. Now you can also create a watch file which means that you can set it up so it will automatically encode files in that folder. Now in order to encode some of these files I'm going to go ahead and use the fast pan 30p and 60i. Just select those two files and drag them out and you'll see that it wants um, some sort of um, settings here. So you'll find the settings um, beneath. So you've got the templates here and the templates range in lots of different categories. You've got editing templates so they you can do XD cam HD files. It will cross um, it will cross convert the files, DVD authoring files so it will do HD to standard definition, does all sorts of stuff. You can do all file formats like AVIs, um, DV, AVI, NTSC. So you can see it's got a lot of presettings already made, a lot of high quality presettings. And these can actually be quite good because these particular ones like DV25 NTSC, these are going to be your editing codecs which can be really quite um, useful to have access to. You even have VC1, so you have the really high codec, um, high quality codec VC1, which is the Microsoft codec, as well as you have all the MPEG-4 codecs, even H.264 codecs as well, and you have them for download and streaming. So tons and tons of presets. Now, anytime you have a preset, you can also modify them. I'm going to go to the web presets or mobile and devices. Use the iPod Touch. Let's use the widescreen um, iPhone and just click and drag those compression settings up here. And you'll see that they applied them. If you want to change things, you can double click on the settings, go to the settings editor, and it has tons of great features. You can change the format, the file extension, w the encoding um, codec that you're using, the encoding codec for your audio. You can prepare it for streaming if you want. You can go to the video and change your settings for H.264, you can change the frame rate, you can change interlacing, which is really amazing, you can change your resizing here, you can change lots of different things like noise reduction, sharpen, change your um, hue saturation levels, your frame rate, your gamma, your interlace, burning time code, watermarking, you can go to the audio and change all the same settings. You can change metadata, so you can give mid metadata tags to your um, uh, encoding. So it's really amazing what you can do. You can apply all those settings, and then when you're ready to encode, you just go down to the bottom, and it will start encoding your files. So this is probably one of the most um, complex and also um, robust video compression softwares that I know out there. The problem with the trial version is that it only does 30 seconds, but it's great software for you to go and look at all the different features. I'm going to stop that. All the different features that you might have for any type of encoding possible. So I hope you look into it more. Thanks.